Hi, welcome to another tutorial. This one's on my new software, new board. Uh, it's Microco, no, Micro C Pro for PIC, um, done by Micro Electronica. Uh, I've moved on to this because you can't do visual graphics with PIC Basic Pro. Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of um, a simple moving picture. So I'll explain this later. This is a 128 by 64, just a monochrome graphic display. Except this one's actually got a touch screen on it. You don't need that at the moment. Um, I'm using the Easy Pick version 7 board. So this is a quick introduction into how to get a moving image. So I drew the image in paint, converted it to a monochrome picture. Uh, you know, not not black and white grayscale. Um, put it on there, selecting a partial image and just moving it about the screen. Uh, right, I'll show you how it's done. Let me uh, move the camera, show you the software. Let me turn the lights on. So, I mean, they're the programs I'm using. Micro C, Micro with a K, Pro for PIC. This one's actually about 250 US dollars. Importing it to the UK says so about 160 pound. You have to pay nearly 40 pound import tax, 20%. Uh, I'm using that other program there as well. Uh, Visual GLC D, which I'll, I'll demonstrate later. Right, getting onto the code for these moving graphics, just to refresh your memory. So that's what I'm going to be talking about quickly. If I've got time, I'll move on to some of the other software. Let me just focus this in. Don't know if I need this light on door. Right, hopefully you can see all of this. Right, if I scroll back up the top, with uh, Microelectronica and their program Micro C Pro for PIC, um, it configures the graphics. There's lots of examples, so what I've just, just done, copied the configuration for the graphic display. Uh, so we've got like, a constant code character for the car bitmap. Uh, that's configuring the GLCD. Just make sure you're in here. Don't know if I need the lights on or not. Let's see if I turn the lights on, is that any better or not? Probably worse. Anyway, configuration for the GLCD. Uh, void delay, this uh, delay for the rest of the program, just 300 milliseconds. Right, this is the main, so that's configuring much the same as the old PIC um, 16F887s, configuring the ports to digital, or B and D anyway. Uh, Initialising the GLCD, uh, and that's filling it uh, zero, so we've got this blank as opposed to all full, which would be uh, 255 or FF. Right, so that's the car bitmap. So we're drawing the car bitmap. Uh, leaving it on there for 300 milliseconds, clearing the display, and then this is where we get the moving image. We're taking a partial image and moving it on the screen. So this is the important bit, GLCD underscore partial image. Now you are on screen, focused in. Right, so th these first characters, it's difficult to... Um, understand but I'll show you in paint uh, they're saying they're capturing part of the image and then they're asking where do you want the partial image to be displayed so that here it's only like 15 zero so if, if you've got a, a graphic display 120 at long 64 down I'm saying I want the image 15 across naught down that's the start of the box then I want 110 by 64 of the image and the original image was 128 by 64 so this 15 by naught start of the box that's difficult to understand unless you see it so what I've done this is Windows Paint where I drew the car draw an image um, on Windows Paint if I show you 
zoom out a bit so you can see it all. Draw an image up here where you go save, but save as, go to other formats, click and then on other formats you don't want PNG, but you want monochrome bitmap, monochrome. So save it as a monochrome bitmap, that will give you your black and white image. So cancel that, get back on the screen, right well, this is the set up the page size, so save as, where did I go? A resize here, so I've already done it, so if I go click on Instead of percentage, you go to pixels. You see, I've already got it 128 by 64. Shut that down or cancel it. Right, so what I've done, the actual, the actual view is something like that. But I've zoomed right in so you could draw the picture or demonstrate what this partial image. Well, partial image quickly, I'm not sure how much time I've got. You select the whole image. Right, that's the whole image selected, and remember, we've got 15 north, so we're shifting it 15 long, staying up, minimise that, so shifting it long, 15, and that's roughly 15 now, I don't know if you can see that mark, so look, because we've got 128 pixels, so the picture's still 128 wide, 64 down, and we're shifting it 15 pixels. Uh, and then we're yeah, displaying this picture. Then we're going 30 naught, 50 naught. This other bit, right, 50 naught, how much of the picture do we want? So we want 110 pixels uh, long, 100. So we're gradually getting smaller and smaller on the car and shifting it further and further. So if I go like, down here, for example, we want. 65 along naught and 75 of the car. 65 along, so 65 along. That's roughly 65 there. Not sure if you can see this little mark. Uh, now we're 65 along and roughly 50, 60 of the car, whatever's left. And that's all we're doing. Keep on shifting it along. I think the last bit, so we're up to like 100 there, I think it was 110. So that I can see a faint line down there. It's 110, go back to the code. So if you look down the bottom, and that's all the program, that's, that, that's all there is to it. See, 110, naught, we've got 20 pixels of the car, 20 long, 64 deep, and the original size with 120 by 64. So 110, 0 and 20 pixels. So 110 and we've got roughly 20, actually we've got less than 20 pixels because we're at 128. So that's uh, 110 by 20. That's how you do it. But So it's just taking the chunk and shoving it along like that. Give you a, a moving image. So don't forget, so if I but say when you draw a new picture, save as other, and then down the bottom, monochrome. Monochrome picture, save as a monochrome, and that's it. Uh, right, more later. Hope you enjoyed it. Put it back on the hair. Um, the software comes with loads of examples, including clock. Let me just lock this camera off. See how much time. One minute, so I haven't got time to uh, do any more. This is the whole board. Very quickly then. Zoom out. Well, you've got LCD clock. These are the uh, click sockets to add on the uh, various extras. Oh, that's my real-time clock.